What's up guys, Richards here from World of VFX. Welcome back to this channel once again. In this tutorial, I am trying to demonstrate you how you can create materials, applying materials, also how to create a blend material inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. Alright guys, this is Unreal Engine 5, uh, this is a very basic scene and also guys, if you have still not watched our last episode which was completely based on beginner base guide step by step, then please go and watch, I highly recommend, please go and watch. Alright, so first of all, we don't need anything here, so I'm just going to file and then a new level and you can create empty level, so basically it will create a complete empty level. So now we need a light setup here first of all. Now to create a light setup, you need to go to this window panel and here you can find environmental light mixer. Simply click and then turn on all these lights. Now you can see you have a dedicated Lumen light setup. So Lumen is basically Unreal Engine 5 version newly updated lighting system which is a really powerful real-time lighting system. Also you can change the lighting with the help of Ctrl and L and you can simply rotate the lights in real time now let me show you something clearly first of all whenever you go to the select mode you can find in my pc this is called a modeling mode but whenever you check your own pc you can't find this so let me show you how you can enable this first of all need to go to the edit panel then need to go to plugins panel where you need to type MOTEL model go down you can find this modeling tool editor mode turn this on and simply unreal engine will ask for a restart restart it and it will enable so here in modeling mode we are just need to select this react mode so this is basically it will create a plane now let me show you why we are doing this so first of all to create a blend material you need to create a mesh with high density vertices so first of all where you can find this width segment and depth segment so let's increase this to 150 by 150 so now it will a bigger dense mesh also you can increase the width and the depth of the scale but i'll do it later now click anywhere of your screen simply just like this and press complete that's it now go back to the selection mode and press f on your keyboard now what happened whenever you press f it will fit with that viewer now you can simply rotate now you can see the plane is here with 150 by 150 highly dense mesh now we need to increase this somewhere around 10 times so i'm just lock this and select and 1010 so now it's 10 times bigger all right guys now need to apply a material so now for applying the material we are using quixel maker scan or you can call it as a quixel bridge now let me tell you something no need to install any software no need to download it from anywhere because in unreal engine 5 we have a dedicated panel of quixel bridge you can simply click and it will launch quixel bridge from here you can simply log in here and now you can find on your local panel few materials which I already downloaded earlier. So the basic policy is how to apply right. So I'll show you two steps that is first of all how you can apply the materials and then how you can create blend material. Now simply select and click this option. This option is showing export medium quality because I don't want high quality mesh so it will export only in medium quality. Now whenever you minimize this you can see in your Unreal Engine, we have a dedicated mode called Surface where you can find these three materials. Now, whenever you turn on your machine or system, you can see something like this. You can't see all the materials serially, just like this. So to enable this material instance option, simply click this three dashes over here and you can find this lot of you know panels. Over there you can find this blendables. Simply click and you can find this material instance option. Now click and all you can see all the materials are here now let me show you how you can apply material on this flow this is a very easy and seamless process trust me simply select drag and drop and boom it's applied isn't it amazing right so if you feel this video is helpful for you still now then do subscribe all right so this is a very basic process so now we don't want this we want a blend material now to create a blend material, you need to focus on few things. First of all, you want to select which materials you want to be on the top. So now here I want this material should be on the top. This will be on the second layer and this will be on the third layer. So I'm selecting those materials just like that serial number only. So again, I'm selecting it like first, second and then third. Okay, I hope you understand. Now get back to your Quixel bridge, select any material. Now here for the basic purpose i'm selecting that material which should be on the top select it just like this and whenever you go here you can find this option settings option 
Simply click, you can find this blend material panel. Simply create blend material like this and it's done. Simply close, minimize. Now you can find a dedicated folder over here, which is called blend material. So this is a blend material already created by Quixel Breach. And trust me, this process is a game changer. Like, it's amazing. Now again, simply drag and drop. Now material is applied. If you feel that this is not applied properly, you can simply click and check the material name. Now see, this is a blend material. Now before moving forward, you need to create a camera, you need to set up it properly. So I'm just click here and you can find this lot of options where you can find this cinematic option. Simply click this cine camera actor. Now go to perspective where you can find this cine camera actor. Simply click. Now whatever you are watching, you are exactly watching through the camera. Now you need to change some very basic settings from the camera, which is go down. You can find this film back, which is 16 is to 9 digital film. Change it to DSLR. And then if you want, you can change the focal length. But here it's 35 millimeter. I'm keeping it like that only. Also, you can change the aperture. I'm changing it to 1.4 to get some, you know, blurry effects. Now I'm just rotating the camera something on the ground just like this because i want some reflections over here i want some waters over here as well now to create a puddle or you can call it like water on the surface you need to enable the puddle mode now we just go to this material with the help of double click you can simply jump into this material now simply type over here p u d d l e puddle you can see this option called global puddle layer simply check this and click this now what happened the puddle layer is enabled Simply press save, it will take some time to update the puddle layer and now you can close this. Now to work with blend materials, you need to go to the select mode, you can find this option called mesh paint. Now click this, you have this dedicated window on the left side of your screen, where you can find this paint brush tool. Whenever you select this paint brush tool, it will come up with few options, which is red, green, blue. So now the red is the top color, green is the bottom and the blue is your puddle layer. So if you turn this to, what happened whenever you enable with the blue color, you can exactly paint puddle. Now let me show you how you can create a puddle. So you, whenever you see you have this brush enable over here, you can see these green dots. If you can't see this brush, it means your model is not dense enough or not scale enough to do this type of thing. So scale it up. Now before doing painting, you have this options called paint color and iris color. Make sure just swap this color. Now whenever you draw here, you can see the waters are come up just like this. If you notice, it's already start reflecting. Now as I'll show you how exactly the rest of the option will work. So let's turn on this red option and turn off this blue option. And now I'll just draw a bit over here. Okay, so I'm just decreasing the strength just a bit and I'm just start painting over here. Now I can see some grasses layers or some leaves layers are visible over here. Also, I'm just turn off the red one and turn it the green layer as well. And again, I'm just start drawing something. So now you can see something visible over here. All right, so we have three materials blended properly with a puddle layer. So let me show you how you can customize this with the help of manual control. So simply select, go to select mode. Now you have this all in full screen. Now double click on your blend material. All right, so first of all, let me tell you this option should be turned on because these are the global controls. So now you have this blend control. So whenever you see this blend controls, you have this option blend middle layer as well. So select, turn it on. Now, whenever you increase this, you can see the middle layer is adjusting its intensity. Now, this is the base layer, which is the base layer. The rope texture is your base layer. If you simply turn this on, you can exactly rotate your texture from here as well. Now, I want to change something on my middle layer. So, just simply turn this middle layer on. So, if you rotate this, you can see what exactly in your middle layer. So, this leaves are on your middle layer. Now, you can turn this on. Also, you can increase the tiling as well. Simply check this. Now I just want to decrease this like two and by two. So now you can see the leaves are, you know, getting intense. So if you notice, the scenes are right now looking pretty nice. Also, you can do the same thing for the top layer as well. Just go down, you can find this top layer and you can simply press two by two. Now you can see this comes up with a more density. Now let me show you some interesting facts on the puddle layer. If you notice, the water is completely still. There is no movement. So if you go down, you can see this puddle layer. Simply turn this wave controls and increase the wave speed to somewhere around 0.1. So now if you notice clearly, the water is exactly moving. If you increase this something a bit, you can see the water is start 
moving just like this. So if you just select from perspective to Cine Camera Actor, so this is basically your scene looking from the camera with the proper depth of field. So now to make it more cinematic, I just want to add few things inside of your scene. Simply go back to your, you know, just pixel bridge. You can simply import any object from over here. You can find out that object on this material assets over here. Simply turn this material instance and you can find this object. Simply drag and drop it over here. I'm just dropping it here. And now I just want to decrease the scale just a bit. So simply go to this option. You can find this light. You can find this HDRI backdrop. Simply turn it on. Now you can see the screen is already lighting up properly. Increase this size, it's somewhere around 500. So now his GRI was increased. You can decrease or you can turn off the directional light. So now whatever light is emitting on your scene, that will completely from your HDRI. Now to change the HDRI, you can simply click here. You can find this option. There are a lot of HDRI. Also, you can simply check HDRI from here as well. So I'm just creating a very basic HDRI scene. So yes, that's it. You have this complete dedicated blended material scene in your Unreal Engine. And yes, that's it for today. Hope you really enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot of things from this tutorial. So if yes, hit the subscribe button. And my name is Rajat. I will come with more amazing tutorials on Unreal Engine. So please go subscribe, like, comment, and share.